Hey, it's Riley with ConcealedCarry.com, standing here with Mr. Rob Latham of Springfield Army. What's up, man? Army. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, we got some really exciting new products from Springfield Army coming out. Uh, we got them right here on the tables. Yeah, Love everything's shooting here. Shooting them, having a good time. Uh, specifically, I wanted to ask you about some of these smaller guns. We've got the uh, XDS Mod 2, we've got mm -hmm. the new 911 mm -hmm. 380. Right. These smaller guns are a little bit more challenging to shoot for Absolutely. most people. Absolutely. So I'm curious, is there anything that anybody can do to, to help with that, to be able to shoot those small guns better? Yes. The, the thing you have to understand first is why a small gun is harder to shoot than a big gun. It's not about the caliber. It's not about, you know, things like that. It's all about sight radius. It's all about balance point, And it's all about the, the, the amount of frame that's in your hand and your ability to tell where the gun is pointed. To get a natural aiming gun, really, there's a such thing. Natural aim is what you get used to. Yeah. If your hand has to be at this position to be at this position. But consistency of the gripping is super important. And why the little guns use the term suck compared to a big gun is because there's only this much grip in your frame. So you have less of a contact area. So I think when the smaller guns start getting too complicated in the shapes and the designs is a negative thing. It needs to be flat on the front, flat on the back, flat on the sides. And I don't want a round thing, I want a, I want a flat piece. Because in my hand, I can tell where that's pointed without looking at it. So, for the record, Rob Latham wants a gun that is perfectly square. Well, I, 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 I took an XDM and actually took the back strap off it altogether so that it was almost a square. Mm. And that's what I've been experimenting with lately. Now, it changes, it dramatically changes where the gun points compared to a regular XDM. But I can't tell you that I don't like it. And once again, it's what you get used to, but the sides are what matter the most. If the side is relatively flat, it's easier to deal with than, than round. Because if you, you put a round thing in your hand, then your, your finger on the trigger is what gives you the position to where the gun's pointed. Well, I don't want your finger on the trigger all the time. So I don't want your finger on the trigger to try to determine where the gun's pointed. At that point, where I want your finger is outside the trigger guard, so you're going to have to be able to do it in the pinching motion from the, flat, from the, the, the palm of your hand. So that's what's going to give you a natural point of impact or a natural point of aim. So you present the gun; it's at least pointed in the right direction. The next step that's hard about little guns is short sight radiuses, and it's more than just a sight radius; it's a balance point of the gun. So a gun that's this long weighs what that weighs 12 ounces is going to always be more difficult to point. And when I say point, you close your eyes and can you tell exactly where it's at? The smaller, lighter guns have this, the advantage of what makes them better is they're small and light. What makes them worse is they're small and light. Small and light. So the, the, the trade-off becomes an issue of shootability. The next step for someone basically trying to maximize their performance out of it is to get a gun that you can shoot well. I'm, I'm not talking in reactive drills or speed shooting. Get a gun that, that will shoot well to begin with. Because most of them, I hate to say this, but most of the little guns, not only are they hard to shoot, they don't actually shoot that well. Yeah. The reality is that little gun, you're probably going to need it to shoot better than your big gun. Because it's slower to shoot, it's harder to shoot. So the next element becomes the aiming portion of it. You need to be, it's, it's really, if you take your hand, hold a stick, and pretend like the stick sticking up, it's only two inches long and one by two, you can kind of feel where it points, but you can't see where it points well. Yeah. So sight radius helps. So having good sights on the gun, I think matters more on a tiny gun than it does on a big gun. Because think about it. shotgun, so my shotgun with a 32 inch barrel, my KD Pro Sport with a 32 inch barrel has this rib that's this long. It is so easy to instinctively tell by looking over it yeah. where the gun's pointed, pointed that I don't really need sights for the coarseness of the, of the accuracy required because the shotgun shoots a pattern. You don't get that luxury here. Yep. So you're gonna need better sights. So it comes down to magnifying all the difficulties of shooting. Everything that's hard about shooting, you wanna go shoot one? Yeah, let's go shoot it. Let's go shoot this thing. If you look at the shape of the gun, having it flattish on the sides means that when I put it in my hand and I don't look at it, I can tell where the front and I can tell what the orientation, stick it in your hand. You can tell where the orientation of it is. Yep. That's super important for just being able to get the gun even pointed in the right direction. So if you look at one of the, look at that target, do this, put the gun down, okay. close your eyes, okay. feel the gun and point the gun at the target. Okay. See if it's on the target. Okay. Close your eyes. Is it on the target? Yes. Okay. 
That's because fundamentally everything works well. You're good and it works well and you're not having to compensate for anything. Right. A gun that requires you to compensate will always take a lot more work. Once the gun is up there, here, load her up. All right. We're going to shoot. So once the gun is up and on the target, at that point, how well can you aim it? Right. If it's got crummy sights, granted, these are great I, sights, by the way. They're great sights. Fantastic. They're, they're actually just slightly cut down from the sights we have on the Elite series. But the notch is similar and the front sight is similar. But with a gun, with a setup of sights like that, it's actually pretty easy to make, I'm gonna shoot headshots, okay? I mean, it's actually pretty easy to make those shots. Shoot them. All right. Because at that point, it becomes a shootability, it's thumb safety, it becomes a shootability issue. And a gun that's, that's easy to shoot, you'll shoot better and you'll shoot quickly. See how quick you're on those things? Yep. They were out of bullets there. So the speed that you're able to shoot becomes a factor of feel and vision. Vision is sight, sight radius is good. We can't have sight radius, so we need better sights to compensate for it. Yeah. A good trigger pull is the final piece that, that puts it all together. Tell now, us about the trigger in the 911. Well, it's, it's made out of G10. The reason we did G10 is it's very light. Right. G10 is actually as light, if not lighter, than aluminum, and it looks cool. It has a different look to it, but yeah. it's really an issue about the, the way it feels in your in, on your finger and how light the part is, because the part being lighter helps. And us to make the mechanism, having the part be lighter really does help. Mm. But the trigger pull, I mean, if you dry fire that gun and play with the trigger, can't tell when you're really shooting it, but feel what the trigger pull is really like. Yeah. It's not a bad trigger. And, and no, I'm, it's fantastic. When I say bad trigger, I'm talking about 1911, comparing them to our 1911s. The triggers may be better on the 380 than they are on the 1911 line. That's a fantastic trigger. It is. I'd take that trigger on every, any gun I ever owned. I'll tell you, from this is the first time I picked it up, and from the very first shot, this is a surprisingly easy gun to shoot. shooting gun. And I think, and I, but I think a little gun... This has changed my whole idea about little guns because I don't like little guns because they're hard to shoot. Yeah. When they're hard to shoot, how well can I shoot them and I'm a good shot, maybe somebody else wouldn't be able to shoot it at all. Yep. So this has kind of changed my whole viewpoint on what a little gun can be. So wow. I love it. Check it out. Springfield Armory, 911. Mr. Rob Latham, thank hey, you man. so much for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good shooting. My pleasure.